Bortezomib can be used uh, after transplant uh, and uh, has been used also in the past. Uh, however, I may say that uh, probably it's not the ideal drug to be used in this context because uh, uh, of the risk of neuropathy and because the way the, the mortality of administration. So I think that uh, it's a good news and it's a good possibility for uh, those countries where you maybe have uh, some economical restraints because the drug is cheap uh, and uh, it is uh, of course very well known. But we do have a lot of uh, alternatives that uh, probably may, may be of help. Uh, and um, until now, the maintenance strategy after transplant has mainly uh, been based on lenalidomide, uh, which is an excellent uh, possibility, of course. But uh, um, we know that for some kind of patient uh, that might not be optimal. So a uh, combination strategy of uh, two drugs, for example, that may include bortezomib or exazomib or a monoclonal antibody with lenalidomide may be, for example, something that uh, we should explore.